The Salt Lake City Arts Council held a ribbon-cutting ceremony this afternoon for a new public art piece. Reactions to this larger-than-life roundabout art exhibit vary widely. So now we go to Wales, you know, make the most of it. I don't know. I like it. I think it's fine. The sculpture is the work of artist Stephen Kessler and artist Mike Murdoch painted the mural on the surface. Kessler says the piece is a reflection of his time in the Ninth and Ninth area when he was a teen. In the years since, the Ninth and Ninth whale has gathered a cult-like following. Many people saying, all hail the whale and crediting this amazing snow to it. And well, why? They say it just makes sense. 23 feet tall, 40 feet wide, almost a year in the making after the city approved the design. And now has amassed its own internet following. When I found this in my late teens, this neighborhood was a different thing, something I've never seen before in Salt Lake. My name is Nick Tyner. I've worked here at Western Rivers for 17 years now. Uh, I know that there are people that come in and love the whale, and then there's people that really don't like the whale. I view it as a piece of art, and art generates positive and negative responses. I mean, I've heard everything from people saying like, oh, it's a phallic symbol, or why do they choose that? At the beginning, it was mostly negative. People were pretty concerned about the whale and that it would be this eyesore. But once people saw it and uh, I believe felt it and felt the religious draw to it, they uh, were compelled to start worshiping it. And, and really, it's become a part of many people's daily life. My name is Riley Adamson, and I am a missionary for the Church of the Sacred Well. We're the fastest growing religion in Utah. And so I imagine our growth will continue to just skyrocket and further and further devotion to the sacred well. Our two core beliefs are that we should protect the environment and that we should protect each other's religious and other freedoms. So including sexuality, right? That you have the freedoms of however you, whoever you choose to love, however you choose to love, that all people should be treated fairly and equally and, and with respect. Many other religions, it's taken years, months, for them to write their religious content, like their, their initial books. Uh, like the Bible took centuries to write. The Book of Mormon took months to write. Uh, I spent six hours with ChatGPT and wrote the whole religion. Like all religions, we've really been persecuted, and I know it's hurt a lot of people, but our faith is secure and our faith is strong, and so those people who haven't quite realized the truth yet, that uh, the one true God is the sacred well, uh, they'll, they'll find out, and they'll be happy with that at some point. People who participate in the Wellathon have tremendous faith, uh, unbelievable faith. It, like exciting level of faith. And when I first heard about this, that they were doing the Wellathon, I couldn't believe it. I was very excited. Um, and I could feel this uh, religious draw that, man, maybe one day I should do that too. I'm here with Jack Halberslaven. And what are we doing today? We're running the Wellathon. Now, what inspired you to start this? Oh my goodness. Well, I saw it on uh, Wasatch Mountain memes, and my good friend Eric sent me a, a little picture of it, so I figured I might as well get it done. And about how many miles are we in now? Oh, we're about 22 right now, so getting to the end. That's incredible. Do you ever get dizzy at all? Yeah, I've been getting here these last couple miles I have, but it helps if you change directions. <laughs> That's great. Well, we're all cheering for you, Jack. Hopefully you can finish through. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I love the support. No problem. I think one of the major reasons why people are drawn to this is it's open arms, right? It's saying all are welcome uh, and, and come get this embrace from this uh, religious entity. And so this embracing well is something that people love. And I think that uh, whether or not uh, you've seen the well or been to the well, you can feel the well in your heart.